Hi y'all, Jack the Train Aviation and Elevator Guy. And as you, you can see, I'm doing to, uh, welcome to Preserve Railroads and Engines of North America, episode number two. And in this episode, I will be talking about uh, Sioux Line, Line Steam Locomotive, number 2719, which is in the hands of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. 2719 was one of the H-23 Pacific Type 462 steam locomotives built in May 1923 by Alco in Schenectady, New York, meaning that the locomotive has four pilot wheels, six driving wheels, and two trailing wheels. Her length with the tender holds is 82 feet and four, or six inches. Her tender holds 15 ton, uh, Her tender holds 16 tons of coal and 12,000 gallons of water. In total, she weighs 226 tons. 2719 ran until the 1950s when she was forced to be retired due to dieselization on Sioux Line. But like many other railroads, Sioux Line faced World War challenge of re-equipping diesel with rostered while getting the last mile stretch of their steam, lo steam locomotive fleet. Afterwards, Sioux Line 2719 was donated to the city of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where she stayed on display in, in Carson Park for 30 years. But this story was not over just yet because... In 1995, a fundraising had been retitled to restore 2719 to operating excursions. After a very aggressive restoration schedule of the Locomotive and Tower Preservation Fund, the inaugural running was on September 14, 1998, running a triple header excursion with Northern Pacific 328 and Sioux Line 1003. After the inaugural running, three years later, 2719 was moved to the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad in Spooner, Wisconsin, and she would stay running on that railroad until the purchase of the Canadian National Railway in 2003. After that, Sioux Line 2719 was facing a bleak future. And once again, that was story was not over just yet. In 2007, 2719 was moved to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth, Minnesota. After some um, exposed elements, the locomotive was test fired on August 24, 2007. 2719 ran a regular excursion schedule on the North Shore Scenic Railroad from 2007 until 2013. In May of 2013, the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth, Minnesota was hosting National Train Day and they would be welcoming Milwaukee Road 261 for the very first time and 2719 not only held a very special excursion for that weekend but she also participated in Milwaukee Road 261's arrival. Unfortunately, Sioux Line 2719's FRA mandated 15 year boiler certificate expired on July 14, 2013. Fortunately, her boiler fume time was extended so that she could operate until the late summer of 2013, hauling many excursions until then. She pulled her final excursion on September 14, 2013. After that, 2719 was to have gotten her FRA-mandated 15-year rebuild, but instead, she was drained and put on display in the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. That was when the Lake Superior Railroad Museum decided whether or not that it was time to move on and stop the Sioux Line 2719 steam excursions from Duluth to Two Harbors. And yes, by chance, I did get to see 2719 at her current resting place on display in the museum. But this was not the end of Steam to Two Harbors.
June of 2017, the Lake Superior Railroad Museum completed a, the restoration of a 1906 built Duluth and Northeastern 280 Consolidation Steam Locomotive number 28. And the locomotive ru can run of, of the speed of more or less 25 miles per hour in between Duluth and Two Harbors, but rather than going at 40 miles per hour like 2719, the current steam powered train ran at the speed of 25 miles per hour. In 2018, Duluth and Northeastern 28 was temporarily renumbered back to her original road number, which was Duluth, Masabi, and Iron Range 332, a number that will take for the rest of its life, and that is its original road number. The current steam-powered excursion train brings in, on average, 50,000 visitors and rail fans of approximately raising eight million eight hundred million dollars to the to the superior region of Minnesota and Wisconsin. As of today, 332 continues to operate today on the North Shore Scenic Railroad in conjunction with the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. There's a train spinning in the station. The conductor, he's calling all aboard. There's only one thing wrong once this train is gone. Folks, the story of an H-23 Pacific Type 462 steam locomotive going all over Minnesota and Wisconsin, calling Duluth its final home, as well as the story of one of Minnesota's last authentic steam trains in operation, which are still currently operating. I do have to admit, the DM&I of 332 is one of the biggest influences in my passion of trains. However, even though it wasn't the mainline steamer, it is still something that I will stick, this memory that will stick with me for the rest of my whole entire life. This is Jack the Train Aviation and Elevator Guy. And I will see you in the next episode. Three days in a club car. What's this village called a train? That's one horse prairie town. Once this train is gone, who's gonna call the name? From east to west, one thing line. Oh,
There's a train standing in the station. The conductor, he's calling all aboard. There's only one thing wrong. The train is long since gone.